Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip. Today I've got some more finals action for you. It is Asia Upper Bracket Finals in UGC Highlander. We are on Viaduct. This is the third uh, map of the series or the matchup. So uh, the series is tied one to one and we're on to Viaduct to figure out who's going to win it all in UGC Highlander. Let's meet the teams. We have Ask the Wind in blue. Um, not exactly sure what to, what's going on there with Blue Soldier's name, so we're just going to call Blue Soldier. Then we have Babe Rusin is Demo Man. Meat is Heavy Tim. Timo, or yeah, Timo is going to be Scout. Huri Lewis is Pyro. Hikoku is Medic. Sammy is Sniper Farmer, is Engineer, and Janice is Spy. Over on red, we have Daddy's House, and they're in the house. We have Pancake as Medic. Gunner is Heavy. Um, not sure what's going on there with Red Scout's name, but he is Red Scout. Ellie is in the house uh, as Pyro Rubik in Korea as Spy Nasty is Soldier Exiponus is Engineer Moonburn is Sniper and Vote for Better India is on Demo Man. We're going to watch the Babe Rusin rollout right here. Like I said, um, the match series is tied one to one. We're only going to play one half of this here Viaduct RC. For Vita Pro RC4. And anyway, Bay Bruce and getting out there very, very quick bleeding. Uh, vote for a better India by a lot. It's just sending a ton of spam right there. Ellie already down, but a nice, nice stickies in there for Vote for a Better India. Takes down his opposing demo man. And that's really what's going to count here as Blue doesn't have that firepower to back up um, their push. Red, meanwhile, running that crits does have this uh, firepower from. No, I'm just kidding. Vote for Better India went down as well, but they're just being super aggressive because they know they're going to have the scrits first uh, before the opposing team gets that uber. They just need to pop it. Right now, Pancake is super hurt. We'll see if the pop goes off. Right now, the only uh, class really to pop it on is Heavy, and those are just going to be laser beams everywhere. They have wasted their crit's advantage, though. Uh, we saw Ellie going down on the point right there, so not a whole lot of defense except this crit's, but the crit's is not popped. Uber popped instead, and they're going to try to push in here and get that enemy medic if they can figure out where he is. Oh, oh, Soldier has figured out where he is, and yes, does get pancakes. So blue Soldier, um, I don't need a tag. We'll just call him that. He don't need a tag. Um, able to get the medic right there, forcing either that crits drop or just the crits to be completely useless. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why when you get a crits at mid fight on a King of the Hill, you pop it immediately. Especially if you know the opposing team is running Uber because you run it so you can get advantage and just advantage wasted right there. So unfortunate. Um, but other medic looks like Hikoku went down as well. So Ubers or charges um, Actually going to go into the favor of Pancake now. Let's see if Pancake comes back up with that uh, regular Uber or crits again. Meanwhile, Timo is going to try to get that uh, med pick or, or something. Just trying to get anything right there. Being sneaky behind the lines and dig and back catch out Spy. Uh, he also, in fact, caught out Pancake. We'll see if he's going to flip that Pancake if he's hungry enough. No, some good defense from Ellie's in the house. Keeps uh, his hermetic alive. Ellie is... An adorable girl's name, so I'm gonna assume Ellie is a lady with an adorable name. So Ellie keeping her medic alive right there, uh, buying the opportunity for Pancake, hopefully to get this crit, but uh, don't need no hashtag is making it very, very difficult. But Nasty takes him down. Pancake did go down. Don't need no hashtag. Get that, got that final rocket on there. I missed it. Thought for sure Pancake would be uh, well protected, but that was not the case. So another crit's advantage lost for in the house or in for Daddy's house right here. Not just any house, it is in fact Daddy's House. So a little bit about these teams. Uh, Daddy's House is a newer team. They placed fourth place last season. Sorry, just reading my notes and I can't read my own handwriting. That's pretty bad when it gets to that point. Uh, so relatively new team, fourth place last season. Uh, Ask the Wind, however, has been around since season nine. So they're an experienced veteran team, uh, at least in terms of uh, that uh, name has been around for a while. Just gonna keep on the babe. Rusin came right here as he continues to push forward as his team's looking super aggressive, have full numbers and in full uber, and they're just kind of uh, pushing the issue as much as possible to get kills and frags. Um, 
a scout right there, being aggressive for Red, trying to come back. But uh, Red just not getting these numbers right here at Daddy's house, having a really hard time. And this Uber is popped, going to pinch out this combo. And oh my goodness, just chaos and massacre. We'll see if the medic can get away alive. He's trying to hold his heal as heavy, but Pancake gets mowed down by the heavy who comes in here. So bad idea for the med to just not instantly retreat. Really the only way they're going to get out of here is with an Uber. But I guess if Pancake's still on crits, that's not... Uh, not going to help. So meanwhile, less than a minute left on the clock for uh, for blue team. Uh, Ask the wind, and I was telling you about them. They've been around since season nine. Uh oh, oh, that was a crossbow crew right there. Hikoku taking out enemy scout. No big deal. Um, doesn't need no protection. Big, sh beautiful, strong medic. Uh, crossbow. Anyway, uh, Ask the wind. They have been first or second place every year since they started in season nine so these this is like the legacy team right here and just we do have a quick fix going for pancake and that is almost charged they do have the point so it's uh unfortunate they have the quick fix and quick fix can be useful in taking the point and defending the point maybe not so much we'll see especially now that in comes the um blue uber but it actually faded away before it could uh, get too far over too far into uh, Pancake. Meanwhile, Pancake's still alive, but uh, I don't need to no know. Hashtag is... Oh, this he's on his own. Um, barracks right there, but Red is just dying right now. Vote for Better India is the only one left alive. He's not going to be able to stop this, especially since enemy team knows where he is. Just going to send a bunch of stickies, hopefully try to delay it uh, a little bit, and does, does delay it a little bit, but Blue right now getting onto the point, and uh, only 35 seconds left, looking very good for Ask the Wind right here. So... Finishing first or second every year, and in season 12, this season, they did not lose a single round. So these guys, super, super legit. But Daddy's House able to come back and tape, take an entire map from them. Uh, so Daddy's House definitely showing that they have what it takes to go up against these superstars. And actually, already you're seeing that Daddy's House is making a significant comeback right here. They uh, have put taken at least a minute off the clock. They're still running that quick fix. Um, again, the quick fix is easier to attack the point than to defend the point with. We'll see how they decide to play it. Uh, but they do have it ready to go. But you know what? Hikoku has this Uber ready as well. Oh, crit's ready. Interesting. That's a, I, I think that's a good play right there. And here come the laser beams meet does get Pancake and Gunner right there, mowing down anybody on red team, and an explosion actually propels them forward right there, some good um, good positioning, we'll see 10 seconds left, this may be the victory for Ask the Wind, just doing a good job with that crits, good placement, uh, last minute soldier bomb, oh does a ton of damage, and actually Meat does get taken down right there, and here comes Daddy's House, I kind of already called for Ask the Wind, but no, the respawn's coming just in time for Daddy's House, oh but here comes Huri Lewis get a 2k um send people on fire will it be enough though I mean 12 seconds left for daddy's house they have that quick fix they have those heals but uh, in comes last minute attempts oh a nice headshot from Moonbird takes down Hikoku the medic so no heals for blue oh but some big stickies by Bruce and Jurati coming down right before that so just a combined team effort to take back the point but a sniper for red oh and here comes a quick fix Oh, we'll see if they can get the kills right now. It's just uh, the scout and the NG right there with the medic. Oh my goodness, and somehow Pancake got backstabbed. Don't even know how that happened. And this is the longest overtime I've seen on Viaduct. Oh my goodness, vote for a better India trying to stop it. Oh, he's playing a little too passively because he had such slow health and all he, had, he needed to be on the point though because they were a double overtime. And oh my goodness, that was close. Oh, one nothing. Uh, ask the wind in the lead right now. Uh, let's see what's going on in terms of points, but we're gonna have to get on Sammy's cam. Oh, I am on Sammy's cam, uh, cause he's been doing quite a bit of work as a sniper man, so we'll, we'll see how he approaches this mid fight right here. Already, we do have the bombing soldier, and that's Don't Need No Hashtag, who's been a severe threat. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry, that's, uh, both. Blue uh, soldier is I Need No Hashtag, sorry, red soldier is, uh, oh my goodness, nasty right there. We do have a cr uh, quick fix popped right there, and Koku did go down. So I'm trying so hard to figure out who the red blue soldier is that, or whoever's figure out the soldiers don't know what medigun people are running. Anyway, there you do see, uh, don't need no tag, but he gets uh, taken out right there by a scout who's uh, unpronounceable. And uh, we do have Daddy's house with the initial cap right here, and a nice forward sentry gun prevents Babe Rusin from really doing too much action right there. 
Uh, and holding on to that quick fix. They did pop it to keep Pancake alive, but uh, now they just hold on to this quick fix. We'll, we'll see how they use it. Um, I feel like once a good crit comes in, like uh, Ask the Wind was able to get last round, the quick fix is pretty useless because then that quick fix um, advantage just kind of fades away uh, with the. What's oh, and doesn't matter how quick fix you are, that backstab is still gonna get you. Um, in comes blue quick fix. Okay, so quick fix on both sides. Uh, Ask the win, able to retake the point right there with that quick fix. So interesting uh, strategy to meet quick fix with quick fix. Usually, uh, I don't know, I, I was banking on the crits play, but we did not see that. And uh, Ask the win comes back and uh, captures the point for the first time this round. Told you we get some sniper action. Let's try to see what we can get here from the Sammy Cam, who has spotted out the enemy uh, sniper and oh, some uh, pills in there ruin his chance and uh, not able to catch up with that NG either. But his team holds it onto this point well enough, and we'll have another quick fix charge ready to go soon. Are they going to use it aggressively? I mean, that's such an interesting uh, decision to use it. That would be an interesting decision if they decided to. Uh, we'll get on the Babe Rusa cam. They have spotted out the enemy combo. Babe it takes a ton of damage. It looks like he wants this. Oh man, if he had a crits, this would be devastating. But uh, instead, just going to keep spamming in there. His med does come in with quick fix. Um, oh, but his med gets headshot. Moonburn taking him down. Babe is going to try to make something happen right here. But without his medic, without his heavy, he's... Oh, there he goes. Never mind. He connects. He gets it's the heavy, but oh, not gonna survive as a uh, red scout there. So this buys a good opportunity for Daddy's house to come back and take the point. Uh, gotta watch for Sammy who just checked down XZ. I'm gonna call him XZ uh, on the point right there. So let's get on a sniper cam because always need more sniper action on Viaduct. Viaduct is usually the map that UGC picks, and of course, not usually, is the map that UGC picks in a best of three. Um, not sure what the other maps were. I should have looked those up, but I'll put that in information. Meanwhile, I saw that we are on the wrong sniper cam, and in fact, Sammy took down Pancake, so med pick right there is huge, but Moonbeam does retaliate and getting heavy. Oh, and then taking out Farmer right there, so nice pick. Um, Moonburn. I think I've been calling Moonbeam. Anyway, he's on a 3k streak right that, uh, with that s fancy sniper gun. Sniper gun. Sniper rifle. Let's see if we can't, uh... Okay, so Pancake is back up with the crits right here, whereas Blue... Still running that quick fix, you can tell it by the noise. Gotta love Val for giving us noise cues on those guns, or those mediguns. Uh, did see an attempt at a, uh, jump in here for my enemy soldier. Uh, on to Ask the Wind, but no go so far. A little bit of a push attempt here from uh, Daddy's house. N they do have numbers, so taking down Meat and Babe Rusin, as well as uh, Jumping Soldier, signaled to them that they didn't need a crits to, to go in, they just needed, they had that player advantage. Also, they uh, didn't have too much time to waste because 60 seconds left on the clock for them, a minute 17 left for their opponents. Now we do have both Metagun's ready to go. We have a crits versus a quick fix. Uh, we'll see who gets popped first, and that will definitely determine which is more successful. Also, placement of these stickies. I'm assuming vote for better, and Dio will get it. He does, and there we go. Placement of stickies executed. The medic goes down. Down goes the quick fix, and vote for a better India doing tons of damage and uh, taking out those high reward players. The medic, the heavy, the demo man. Those were the only ones to go down, but you know what, that's going to be enough right here. I think for Daddy's house to hold on to this, so Ask the Wind having a bit of trouble kind of uh, recuperating from... I mean, they definitely could have recuperated from that, but uh, not able to do so with the quick fix. Uh, sorry, Daddy's... Uh, as the wind coming in with last minute push attempts, they're still running that quick fix, which uh, is going to charge rapidly right here, and they may be able to retake the point, but again, now they're going to be defending with a quick fix. Uh, Haikoku going down! A nice headshot by Rubik, who is now on sniper? What? Oh, a headshot uh, from the spy, an ambi shot right there. Alright. So a nice spy shot. I didn't see it, I just saw the kill feed. Uh, um, so, missed that play, but... Now Ask the Wind in possession, but again, they, uh, still on that quick fix. Sambi, take it down, Moonburn. We'll keep on 
Sammy's cam, although he's fallen a little bit in terms of points, probably because I became aware that he was doing well. Red coming onto this point. There's a little bit of defense going on. Sammy just needs to get onto this point. Not going to happen. And Eddie's house going to take the second round. So we are 1-2-1. One, one. Remember, we're only going to three points. Haikoku on the crits. I much better like that. That wasn't a sentence, but I yes, I do prefer the crits in this situation. I think that's what Red is running as well. Indeed. So we're going to see good old-fashioned crits v. Crit crits v. Crits. Um, I think, oh, nice jump in here from Nasty, but uh, some good protection from Huey, Huey Lewis uh, to help out his medic. Oh, man, we're going to have a crits v. Crits battle here. Who's going to get it first and who's going to get those perfect stickies? We'll stick on the Babe Roosin cam because we did see uh, India's uh, crits last time. But there's a sniper out there, and Babe Rusin knows that. Uh, oh, but his medic did not, apparently. The headshot didn't see it, but uh, Moonborn going down right there. Oh, so Babe was like, you know what? I have nothing to live for. I'm just going to go try to get the medic force or medic pop. He got or the medic drop or the medic force. He got neither right there, and this spells a huge advantage for Daddy's house. Uh, Pancake, super aggressive right here, not popping yet. Uh, waiting, of course, for that med to show his sneaky little pancake face. I'm not Pancake, uh, Hikoku, there we go. Uh, pancake, of course, holding on to that crits, and I was worried about this early, and I think they hang hung on to it too much earlier. Here they go with it popped now, though. Oh, can they connect to get the med pick? Hikoku going down, but lose um, India in the process as well as Pancake. Didn't see how Pancake got finished off right there, but Blue, uh, even without their medic, are going to push onto this point, having a great player advantage, and will take the point for the first time this round. Rubik, the only one left alive right now for Daddy's house, so this is going to enable Blue Team to take uh, any kind of position they want. I thought for sure Sammy would push forward a little bit more right there, be a little more aggressive, but he's going to uh, fall back, it looks like. I don't think Rubik is dead right there, Hikoku, but that was a nice shot nonetheless. Oh, Girardi came down. That was called out, and vote for better India, able to take out both the med and the demo with uh, Sticky and then a pill right there, signaling his team it's uh, time to move in because they have a great advantage. So, um, Daddy's House able to come back, pick up the point, and time taking under two minutes. We get on the nasty cam right here, see what he's going to do with this black box, taking a bunch of damage. There's a mini sentry somewhere, and. Uh, Gotta get that engineer. Oh, his teammate's mini sentry right there. But still, get the engineer is uh, much preferable to killing just one mini sentry. We'll see. Remember, so as the win, looking for another first or sec first place victory. Second place victory would not be as sweet. But uh, regardless, they're going to continue their incredible reign of uh, glory in UGC Asia. UGC Asia just has one division because there, uh, as far as I know, not enough teams right now to separate them into divisions, but um, always that possibility for uh, for further divisions because uh, I think both UGC Asia and UGC uh, South America are growing every season. Anyway, we are close to possibly getting an Uber or a Crits pop right here. Um, Jurati coming down, taking down the Heavy, and it's going to be the Crits for the Red Team on the wrong camera. Pancake, though, gets pressured by this Pyro, and down he goes. Medic is going to stay alive for Blue, and the counter Crits pop. Uh, where did that Crits go? And there's a Soldier on your head. Oh, his Medic got backstabbed. Babe just completely out. Um, outmaneuvered right there, not able to make anything happen. Don't worry, no need tag. Need, it was, it's not even need no tag, it's no need tag. That's funny. Um, able to come in here, start the cap, um, but it's going to be a long hold here for Ask the Wind. Um, as they do have about 2 minutes and 30 seconds left. I need, you know, does no one see this, this soldier right here? Uh, looks like Pancake already went down to a backstab. We haven't gotten any spy plays, so we'll get on the spy cams in just a second. Want to see what uh, No Need Tag uh, is going to be able to do. We saw some of what the Black Box Soldier for the posing team tried to do. Um, no Need Tag with those. He's running the gunboats, right? Yeah. So, 
Okay, now we're on the Janus cam. Janus was able to get the medic last time. Uh, camping out that certain hallway, but to realize that the medic was not going to come through that way. He has spotted out Pancake. We'll see if he can get the other pick, but no, Nasty! Coming down on him like a rain of terror, and that was key. Very, very clutch right there, because now Pancake is going to have a little bit of a crit advantage. The team does have the point, so they can be, uh, well, they're not going to... They may have this crits before time is up, but uh, if anybody from blue comes, they'll be- Yep, here comes the bombs, and Daddy's house gonna hold on for one more round. So this is getting tight, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, whoever wins this wins UGC Asia for Season 12. Exciting stuff right here. As uh, it's coming down to the very wire, so Daddy's house playing really, really well. If there's anything, uh, looks like- Andy has been doing a great job. He's been really nailing those crits. We've seen that several times. Uh, we're gonna get Rubik Cam for a bit. Let's see what he can't do uh, on this final push. Trying to buy his team uh, a big advantage right here. He's actually getting some heals. Oh, there goes his Spicicle. Both uh, spies actually running that Spicicle, but uh, managing to dance around the flames. There he goes. There he goes, but he did a good job distracting <laughs> Um, oh, I'm sorry, but red team was super distracted in all of that, and blue able to come back and get major kills right there. Uh, I was thinking that the spy was... no, but blue just not uh, doing well, so despite the fact that Rubik was do, uh, distracting, uh, asked the win, able to come back very, very strong in that mid-fight. We'll get in on the... I was gonna say Babe Rusen cam, but he goes down right there to a body shot. So, Demo Man out of the picture right here as this crits is ready to go for Hukoku. Hi, Koku. Yeah, how? What's he gonna do? Uh, he needs to stay alive. There's a soldier bombing from behind. Nasty went down to the mini sentry. Um, here is this spy, though, that is Rubik gonna take down me. He was the receiver of that crit, so no more. Uh, lasers, um, but in comes Red after that failed Chris attempt, trying to take back the point. Uh, they have so much time on it right now, but as Red Demoman pushing forward, kind of need to reload right there, so but for better India finally does get the point. He wants to continue up on this, and he wants some of these crit stickies. Can he finish off his opposing demo man? Yes! Vote for better India. Taking down Babe Rusin, but oh, his medic was left vulnerable right there from a flank from the pyro. Huey Lewis, who takes him down. So it's gonna buy Hokoku uh, an advantage right now. We'll see if he's still on that crits, indeed. So no quick fixes yet this round. Um, oh, he's got the heals from his med, but can, can Stammy stay alive against the scout? Needs a little bit of help, and in comes Timo to finish off a red scout with the lines. Oh, that's, that was a major bump, a major bump right there. Can Sammy, there he goes, taking out Rubik. A little bit more safe right here, and he spotted out the enemy combo. If he can get this, uh, well, Kritz was popped by his team. Oh, there we go. How is that not eh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> taking out enemy engineer and of course those minis the threat of the mini sentries taken out as well he spotted out that enemy sniper but a little bit too late hikoki looking to be aggressive right there with meat but took some stickies vote for better india is just not missing right now with his stickies uh so if he could get taken out that'd be huge sammy does get gunner so that's a significant threat he also sees the medic oh can't connect uh but sammy really really wants this as red team being super aggressive and Blue just not in the position right now to defend. Oh man, Pancake went down to 19 health right there. But don't worry, in comes the crit. Oh, just kidding! Uh, guess who had a crit of their own, but both medics go down in that exchange. Not even sure how that happened. Uh, but that's the way it was. And uh, both medics down, both crits, I guess, accomplishing what they wanted to, but at the same time, not. Uh, so time is going to start. Take him back down on the Ask the Wind cam. I mean, Ask the Wind team. As Daddy's house still is close to two minutes left, so we'll see if their strategy changes as they're now in that uh, position they found themselves in the first round, which has come from behind. Oh, snap! Pancake goes down to a headshot. He's gotta play more uh, smart about this because that's. Uh, Sammy has just been a reign of terror as well. Janice getting a backstab in there in this uh, push from. Daddy's house 
not going to succeed. Of course, they did do a, quite a bit of damage to the blue team. Hokoku went down as well. Didn't catch that kill, um, but I'm going to assume it was uh, magnificent. So even though the blue ranks were kind of devastated right there, Ray was not in a position to push forward. So as to win, holding on, 30 seconds left. They have to win this. This is must win because we're only going to three round wins. Remember, uh, in comes Daddy's House. They want to end this right now. They are kind of close with the crits, but it's not going to uh, come s before they capture the point, and they do capture the point. A minute 50 left. So they're going to have to use this crits aggressively, and Pancake needs to not be headshot. <laughs> Um, that's that's kind of priority number one right now, keeping that meta alive. Um, and Sammy's been one of the biggest uh, threats to that. So the crit is ready to go. They should use it soon. Uh, we'll get on vote for a better India cam as he ch uh, loads up, charges up. If they can find this enemy medic, oh, pancake went down to what a snipe. Body shot right there, and then in comes Janice to finish off a bit. Oh, he's gonna get no, he doesn't get the NG pick, but ask the wind right now, just completing all their picks. Their uh, quick fix came in here, able to keep med and uh, heavier classes alive. They have full numbers, and a lot of them are overhealed right now onto the point. Sammy going huge right there with that uh, medic pick. I knew it should have been his cam instead of the medic's cam or the demo's cam, but there you have it. That is going to be a round. Oh, and a sweet. Air headshot from uh, Sammy right there to tie it up. We are two to two. Next round wins everything, literally everything. So these teams fighting hard, and it's been a close fight. Um, as uh, we near the end, you can only imagine how they're feeling right now. The entire season on the line. Uh, we'll see. Oh, nice bomb in from Red Soldier as Nasty has been doing all round. Oh, and here comes a scout to finish up and does indeed take down Hikoku. So uh, Red Scout, the line name, taking out enemy medic. Uh, Pancake is alive, but he is super, super hurt. So they're getting into some of their own aggressive uh, soldier play as well. So both sides just playing that uh, super aggressive roaming, bombing soldier, which is so, so... Uh, so, so effective here on, oh god, oh god, on Bioduct, um, blue, Red Med, so yeah, was super hurt and went down, oh my goodness, so both meds not able to survive for their first crits pop, I think uh, Pancake uh, went down again, otherwise that's extremely long respawn time and I don't think it is, he's on that crits though, uh, so we'll see. We will see Blue in possession of the point already 30 seconds down. And with the dispenser there, it means that Babe can just kind of spam the point with his stickies, continue to reload, continue to uh, replenish his health. And that's just so, so important because he's putting down some great damage right there. Also, uh, taking down that mini sentry. Can he connect with the sneaky heavy and not able to do so? All right, we're going to get on the spy cam as Janus, it looks like. Um. Moving up, his team with numbers right here can't afford to be aggressive. There's quite a bit of time on the point, so they can't afford to overextend, but they can't afford to be aggressive, if that makes sense. So they just have to be smart about what they're doing. Uh, Janice has spotted out the medic and the demo man. Which pick would be better right now? He may have to go for a spy pick and actually doesn't get either or any of what he wanted. Red team does come back to take the point, but it's a short-lived victory as Ask the Wind comes back immediately. We'll check the Moonburn cam, and he is so screwed. I don't. I guess he was <laughs> concerned with getting uh, something right there that he didn't see the demo charging at him with a broken with a bottle. But uh, yeah, well, whatever. Sammy going back to his position that he really, really likes. Uh, does a ton of damage right there to Gutter with 18 health left. He's got to be calling that out, and he doesn't matter. He doesn't need his team to do it. He's gonna go ahead and take out that heavy by himself. Um, down goes Hikoku's. The Red Scout able to track him down, and Huey Lewis, meanwhile, on a 5k streak, you can see that in the um, kill feed. But time taking down right here for Ask the Wind. Only a minute 5 left, and Daddy's House has got to make something happen there. They've lost the little bit of momentum that they've had um, in these la with the last round having to come from behind. But they did it before, they can do it again. They switched to that quick fix, was which was effective for them. Oh, but Gunner gets 
dropped right there. Pancake has to pop that quick fix as they move on to the point. They have to get get the quick fix on the point because that's why the quick fix is so effective. Um, they finally do get the numbers, start that capture time. Blue taking a ton of casualties. Uh, and oh, if Scout can take out this blue demo man, it'd be huge. Oh, he in fact gets the medic. So line right there uh, with a better p uh, pick than I thought and actually vote for better. India came in and finished off of the head. The, um, Dumbo man there anyway. So Red looking really great right here. Daddy's house with the comeback that they needed. They just have to sustain this. Two minutes and 30 seconds. That's going to be a hard, long defense with Quick Fix. Gunner taking so much damage. I'm scared for him. Meat is just kind of spamming him from uh, Cliff. But we do have crit, uh, sorry, Quick Fix ready to go again for this Daddy's house. Uh, so we'll see how they decide to use it. Meat is like, uh, I think there's a spy. Yes, yes there was. Um, so Pancake holding on to that 100% quick fix, waiting for absolute uh, necessity. No, they're going to be aggressive with this. Gotta love this idea. They are coming from quite the disadvantage, so they decide to be aggressive with the quick fix, which is hard to do, as you can see. Um, they do get in there, do do a lot of damage, uh, but Hokoku did manage to stay alive. Babe, Rusin stayed alive as well, so they're going to have... So that is, uh, Ask the Wit is going to have this crit here soon, and it's going to be very difficult to defend against um, with just kidding. Hikoku goes down nasty getting that pick. So again, these behind soldiers, I was going to say it was going to be very, very difficult with uh, crits versus quick fix to win with that quick fix, but that crits has gone down, so now quick fix again in in charge, large and in charge. We'll see again if they decide to be aggressive with it again. Nasty has spotted out that enemy medic. Uh, I'll see what he decides to do with this. And you can see very similar play styles in these uh, soldiers, uh, even though they're running in a very different uh, loadouts. Of course, nasty with that uh, with that black box, um, but both doing a really great job in getting behind the lines, putting pressure on the medic, uh, the medics, and uh, you know, even the demo man really. So we are down to 47 seconds. Daddy's house has done a fabulous job just running out the clock. They only pop that quick fix once, and they have it ready to go again. But they're waiting for this blue pop, no doubt. And where is the blue pop, you ask? We'll get on the Babe Arusin cam, uh, who does get that crits charging up. Uh, Sticky trying to connect, but that quick fix has popped as well, and the Stickies aren't as greatly great placed as they could be. Hikoku goes down, uh, and right now he's just being super, super pressured. That soldier just up in his business. Oh my goodness, right now Babe Arusin is the only one left in position right now for the blue team. There is a scout as well, but he has the Fire, only he is the fire pyre, and there's seven seconds left. Pressure is on right here. Can Ask the Wind come back and get this victory, or will the quick fix power of Daddy's House reign supreme? And it does. Indeed it does. So Daddy's House are UGC champions of Asia. So congratulations, guys. Um, well, well played. Well fought. Ask the win. Definitely put up a great fight, but ultimately going to come in second this season. Thanks so much for watching this. Thanks to Rubik for being patient. Sorry I had some STV uh, problems in um, doing this, but glad to get it casted. Great match. And once again, congratulations to both teams. Getting this far is quite the accomplishment that many people won't see. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Definitely check out uh, my public server at kiptv.tragicservers.com. Gratefully sponsored. Uh, I'm grateful for the sponsorship by Tragic Servers. Uh, if you have a match you want to see casted, hit me up at kiptf2 at gmail.com. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.